right, so I do want to apologize ahead of time. Uh, I was supposed to do one Monday and I completely just decided to be lazy and not do anything. Um, I am definitely still going through some uh, issues. Um, but I have this out today for you. Um, it is a Tom Hanks movie and it's of Apple... Uh, was it Apple Plus or something? No, that's Disney Plus. Apple something. Um, their streaming service. So they started putting out slowly, but they started putting out uh, movies and TV shows. Um, I, the, la the only the first one I did from their streaming service is C of Jason Moore. Um, highly recommend you check that out. Um, I I expected a lot going into this because this is Apple. Um, with Netflix, I expect a lot, but not anywhere as much as something as Apple, because it's, I mean, it's Apple. Um, so there are definitely some issues with this movie, but first, the, the sum of the movie is a, it's based on a true story, World War II, um, Tom Hanks' character is a captain of a ship of, like, I think it said 37 ships, that are escorting um, supplies to somewhere. I don't remember where. Um, and I am not, this is one of those things where they have a whole bunch of stories of this war that I've never heard of. Um, I recognize a couple of the actors in here, big actors, one that's from a mob movie. There's a, I think his name is the guy, the character here, uh, a black guy, he plays a cook. Is Wilson? Um, I don't know his name, um, but I swear I've seen him in a mob film too, um, or a gangster film. Uh, the woman in here, I just feel like they they shoved her in here briefly to try to put a backstory into this. Um, she's a love interest. She plays the head lit bad lady of the superheroes in Boys on Amazon. Um, you know I. She's been in something I don't know particular what, um, but I think they all did a good job. All even the actors that I don't recognize that are a big part of this movie, I think they did a good job. Um, the special effects, the special effects were just spot on. Definitely something I would expect from Apple. Uh, they were so realistic that I completely didn't realize that they were CGI. Um, I don't know what they were using to shoot this, but it was definitely in the middle of between, you know, the, your standard and uh, high up, high end camera lenses or cameras, whatever. I, I, I have issues of trying to figure which one that is out because I don't know anything about cameras. So you must excuse me on that. Um, the, the issues I have with this movie and these are the issues that make me wonder if I should make it, if I should give a three and a half out of five stars or four stars. Um, it would be five if it didn't have this issue in here. And there's a big issue and I'll get to that later, a couple minutes or a minute, whatever. Um, they did a lot of overdone with the uh, pentering shots from above with the CGI. Uh, from the boats up above, uh, I thought they didn't do it too much, but I thought it, I just didn't really like it that much. I kind of felt a little off. The other issue I have with this movie is they definitely overdid it with dramatic music. Uh, there was definitely some parts in there that they did, it fit real well, and there was definitely some hair raising uh, parts in there that kept you on your seat in a way. Um, but for the most part, they, it felt, it felt like it was a bit overdone with the action of the, the, vo uh, the dramatic music. And they, you see that in movies from time to time where they, they, they compensate for the lack of story and whatnot. And there's definitely a lack of story in this. Um, the whole thing is shot on the ship the whole time so you only see all these crew members there's a lot of people but you don't see 
um, a lot of people on the other ships or on the U-boats, they do have voiceovers from other ships. I honestly wish, and this is the big issue I have with this movie, I strongly wish they would have had more characters in it. Um, no matter if they're big blockbuster um, actors or if they're this somewhat known or just thrown in. But they definitely did have a scene in here which I just felt I didn't like. I mean, I liked it. It was emotional. But they showed the where it was just those background actors on a ship. That was it. Um, they, they needed more people in it. Um, I just, it, and it was also short. It was a hundred, it's about, I think it's about an hour and 30 minutes. And I wish it was way longer. And I wish they, hey, they would have had a lead up to the story. They just had, uh, him in the beginning. And this is kind of a spoiler, um, talking to the lady. And that was a brief couple five minutes or so of it and that was really it and i didn't really feel like it fit in the story um they definitely should have done way more with this movie and i had high expectations and i'll definitely uh, admit to that um there definitely was a cool shot in there and with that i they got just mainly think of the movie jaws they had an aerial view of a u-boat that was going through the water you can see it through the clear part of the water but the thing was the uh antenna was sticking out and it that way they shot it reminded me of of jaws just going towards the water towards the boat with an aerial view um i thought that was really cool i i definitely again got jaws effect to that um the movie the move don't get me wrong i i definitely liked the movie i definitely enjoyed it uh, but it has a lot of issue there's could have been a lot more thought into it um i know it's it's supposed to be based on true events um but you know hollywood tends to you know add stuff to make it more entertaining and so half of the time that doesn't fit well with the movie and other times it's needed uh, I feel like they should have added more story to it. And then you also get more emotion and a spec story of Tom Hanks' character, the captain guy. Um, but, you know, it, it's... So I, I would definitely... What? I'm going to be fair. Okay, I'm going to be fair and give it four out of five stars. It's borderlining on iffy when it comes to four, but it's definitely four. I think Tom Hanks does a phenomenal job, no matter what he's in, no matter if the movie sucks or if it's great. Um, it's always him as the great actor. Uh, I think he's in his 60s or 70s, and I hope he doesn't retire soon. Um, there, it's about that time where people retire. Um, I guess he has more leeway of not retiring because he's not an action-packed star like Stallone or Arnold or something, and they're you know, retiring or have retired. So, um, I just hope he, he keeps going for at least a good 10 years more. Um, but who knows, you know, either way, uh, it's Tom Hanks. So you can't go wrong with Tom Hanks. Um, I can't remember what, what movie I did last, of his, a review of his. I know I did one. Oh, it, it was Mr. Rogers. Uh, I strongly suggest you check that out, especially if you're American and you grew up with that stuff. Um, phenomenal actor in that. But I went on for long enough with this review. Um, please check it out. It is $4.99, I believe, a month for the subscription of Apple. Is it worth at this point? Like I said, with the C, uh, just check out the TV show, check out Cup this movie, because there's not much on there. It's not really worth paying per month. Um, as of right now, compared to Netflix and Amazon. So, but anyways, have a nice day. Uh, stay cold or warm, wherever the hell you are, and let's go.